We call this is no longer entertainment, and it is a has a subtitle, a documentary poem, and it documents four years between roughly 2014 and 2017 through um, the uh, comment sections on uh, media websites and other digital platforms. Um, it's made of 71 sections. I'm going to read the first five sections for you. Thank you. One. I'm just relieved I finally found something that rhymes with orange. Only if you're French. Orange, the Welsh mountain, is another matter. Have you never heard her name spoken aloud? I've been calling her Solange in my head. <laughs> Two. In 87, Huey Lewis and the News released four, their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is hip to be square. The song's so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Thank you, Patrick. The early work was a little too new way for my tastes, but when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound, and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. But that's funny, because the news, minus Lewis, were the backing band on My Aim is True. As far as I recall, only one of the news played on My Aim is True. Three. I'm not very happy with my current business card. I'm not sure who I want to kill, the designer or the printer, or perhaps both. <laughs> the world is a shit stain. People are fucked. I'm sick of movies and books trying to preach hope. I want to see something sicker than the world I inhabit, with no possibility of redemption. Alone on a long train ride across the Balkans with a deep hangover and a fever while smoking herbal, Anyways, the fellow behind me asked me what I was giggling at. I turned around and showed him. He looked away, quick smart. I kind of see him as a cold-blooded stylist or technician, temporarily infatuated with him at a U2 concert from the front row, and mentions some nonsense about him opening up his sword or something. This is not an exit. Started around 6 p.m. and finished around 5 a.m., stayed up, went to breakfast, then went to bed. Woke up around 6 p.m., went out, got drunk, stayed out till 6 a.m., went to breakfast, repeat. Being a hairy, subversive type, I hated the entire concept of yuppies. Spends too much time pouring coffee and typing on a MacBook in public because they can't afford internet at home. It was banned in Ireland, but somehow a friend of mine managed to get a copy and pass it on to me. You don't need it. Just fuck a rat, kill it, wrap it in a Harrods catalogue, then eat it. Four. Marketing has worked perhaps too well. There are ethnic Austrians living in Italy, ethnic Germans in Belgium and the Czech Republic, ethnic Swedes in Finland, ethnic Celts and Anglo-Saxons living together in the UK. We, over here in the US, spending trillions of dollars, still passive, consuming the pornography of family, the pornography of mom's apple pie, the pornography of sunsets, the sheer amount of bandwidth to fill, cheese puff, or member in hand, idly masticating, engages in a diegetic reenactment or simulation of the events being portrayed, the hilarity of cat burning, the excitement in a busy market square, when a miscreant is about to be disemboweled, confused, disappointed, and scrolling to the bottom, we can actually cause genetic mutations simply by watching violence. People discuss the pleasant buzz and addiction to getting a tattoo, the same rush of gratified ideological religious tribal hatred when the idealized enemy is dispatched. Carpet bombing good, beheading bad. 
My local Icy store is doing a three for the price of two here. You also get a free bowl of popcorn. Bill, you're like your namesake, Homer. The envious, peevish Caliban to our munificent, hectoring, proto-liberal, prospero. This is not good journalism. Extemporized riffs on beheading. Why did not religion win over Marx? As an ex-revolutionary socialist, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, veering towards drugged up zombies being gangbagged or treated to sex in some way. Normal, just walking down the street, girls pay to perform. Most women will do that if you offer them a few dollars, you know. You can get them free on the internet. MPs, hawkish wings, clipped by the Twitter bird, Wall Street is occupied, Ferguson up in arms. Glamour scenes never feature a female nipple. I figured I would go enjoy some violent videos on Light Leak instead. I know what kind of pornography I prefer. Head and fundament, perpetually absorbing one another, Ouroboros-like, suppressed in the calculus of perceived necessity. I tried running it through Google Translate, but alas, there's no English to English option. Five. Tanks rolled through our streets, smashing cars and destroying property. Why? Being a Muslim is a choice of ideology control, the cul-de-sac that led to their school. Pick a different one. Soldiers pulled random students and people from the street and lined them up on their hands and knees. Our nation of immigrants broke down our door and went through our Muslim women here in America who want to integrate. Lose the hijab, slashing the tires, watching American sports, having barbecues, having your kids dress up for Halloween participating in Thanksgiving, some Muslims from conservative countries take their daughters home for this surgery, which is against US law, a beautiful baby boy, a first son was born with jaundice against murder, kidnapping, theft, abuse, child labor, withholding education or medical attention from minors, troops shelled the building, many children were dead. My seven day old son was among them. You have to assimilate, learn the language, don't move into a neighborhood with only other Syrians, get to know your neighbors and become a part of society. And certainly, don't set yourselves apart. By the way, two of us in the hatchback sedan, a furniture delivery man, it was for very little pay, around $50 per day. The Irish were Catholic and drunks. The Italians were all thieves. The Swedish were dumb. The Germans were beer drinking luscious, who during World War I and II were under suspicion of being engaged in spying and sabotage. The Japanese were a fifth column. The Chinese were good enough to break their backs building railroads, but not to stay. The Mexicans are fine for picking crops, but they're just here for the welfare. The story goes, my daughters would pick me up and carry me forward, like Fort Hood, Boston, and San Bernardino is why we oppose bringing them here, living on the brink of starvation. It is civil war and no reason for asylum anyway. At least five in-person interviews with each and countless phone conversations. And the fence to grave American welfare was another good reason to be a refugee. Those stories had to be consistent with interviews given by other people when you were a caseworker about an Italian immigrant family which you said, not as stimulated, still eating spaghetti, lived on that hope. Feel free to be a refugee. Don't assume you have a right to be in the US or a Western European country. We have our own to take.